Hey, Lego guys, Lego fan, Lego guy back for another video. We're at the Briggs Minifigs. You can see behind me, of course. And um, a little bit mirror viewed, but pretty cool. We're in this store. I just got my, th my shopping done today. So let's show you the inside of this whole store and talk about afterwards. I did get the owner's permission to do a video. So let's see if we like it, of course. So the Briggs thing they got here, guys, here. And so pretty cool stuff here. They have some of the cool poly bags you can see here. And, um, so this is some of the cool stuff I got here. Um, let me know if you comment you when I say get this set right here, of course, from them, of course, Noy. As well as this set here too. Uh, but you know, a lot of cool looking poly bags. I'm really gonna pass along because you know, but one well, panda bear I might go for one day here, but pretty cute. So store shelves they have here too. And pretty cool overall they have. And here's like a dose of the the ball figs they have here too, guys. Here. So really kind of cool ball figs they have. Some cool things right this here, of course. Or another character I have a long time ago that have a uh, gold tooth. Of course, you can't see him here. Here's some other cool stuff they have here too, books wise. Here, this thing I might go take my gold for one day for a display shelf here. Cool. Uh, here's where I find my many different cards here. Of course, you have here. And, uh, you know, whatever you want to find, little pieces of your figures, of course. Here's all the cool stuff. So, and, uh, pretty cool that you have these overall too. Here's the cool Ude sets they have here too. They have right here. Palace Cinema, which I have that set. Pretty cool. A lot of old sets here they have here too. In a way. And um, there's an old knight set too they have here. But this one here with the old with the goat here. You can see right there, guys. You know, if the goat comes in here, I think he's in there. Can't really see him, but um, pretty cool. Little cup here too, guys. So, many things I have here too, guys. Really cool. As well. And, um, I just got that Thanos big fair one and one back there, guys. So, in case you're wondering, you'll be seeing that on a short video soon. There's um, also a main figure I have too, in a way. Love the big thing, so. Very cool overall. They have some new characters that you can see here, guys. So, dimensions they have here in Harry Potter. Um, also, they have Minecraft. There's also some space figures, too. All the, all the space that they still want over there. There's an astronaut they have, too, back there, too. They always get restocked every once in a while, guys. There's old Chima they have here, too, and Ninjago. Really kind of cool. Um, there's some of the, a lot of the skeletons they have here too, which are pretty cool. Some T-Rexes I have. I have one of those T-Rexes, but pretty cool looking. Um, they have a lot of the figures that I don't really one day want to get, guys. There's some Lego movie characters too that I have. Um, there's also some down here, the knights. You know, that one monkey character, that one character who's from, from uh, Adventures Quest is pretty cool too, that's you. They have too. And, um, so here's some of the series here. Here's some of the series figs they have too. Really kind of cool. And, uh, you know, really neat that they have this overall. And, uh, really kind of cool that they have this. And, um, really nice overall. Small poly bags they have too. And, uh, there you go. Here's the other something, guys, here. Modulars they have. Like the one Transformers Optimus Prime they have here. Pretty cool. Um, some of the shelves have here too. The typewriter, I like that typewriter, guys. The ball stadium. There's also look at the piano, the Altaria set too, which is pretty cool. I wish I had the Nintendo, which is just the Ferrari cars they have too, the Formula One. A lot of cool stuff, and there's some stuff there down there that they're probably gonna put on for one day. And, uh, pretty cool that they have. But um, and here's some of the thing I want to show you guys too. If you guys want me to get these, of course, here they have Series One, and they also have Series Two blind bags. The original blind bags, not the ones that you see nowadays, like these kind of course, but these little thin ones, so they're hard to feel for. But uh, pretty cool that they have these overall. And, um, and there's some of the Christmas sets. I know Christmas is over, but they already have those there too. There's a dragster car out there too. For and there's some other cool sets here that you see in the background. Here's some of their packs they have here too. They have for weapons and ammo. Pretty cool. They have these as well too, like custom. You see here, there's a lightsaber thing, of course. And uh, just really kind of cool to have overall. There's a cool little friend set that's really cool. 
in that art sea truck and everything and all, all Harry Potter so you can see there's a part of New York City which I thought was a mock but actually actually has a real set and um, very cool they have these overall too you know. and uh, you see there's a neat stuff they have here in the back here and Daryl just some more Lego stuff to have your guys here too Lego City here new stuff here Pretty cool looking stuff they have over here overall too. And I think about getting one of these one day, guys. So and there's Christmas thing here they have here too. And how many of you are asking, uh, guys, I might get this one day if it's a collectible thing, of course, one of these Titanics. I know a lot of people in the comments are probably say, well, this is Britannic and this is Titanic. Well, pretty cool they were twins and all and all, and uh I've heard people doing a Britannic version of this, the guys, but pretty cool. Here's a train set I don't have, but, you know, you know, trains are pretty cool. I like trains, you know, pretty cool. And uh, here's some other set they have here. This one day I might think about getting one for guys. I don't know yet, but I've heard people converting into modular, but who knows? Um, another one, the two that I thought about getting, but goes well with the Christmas theme. Harry Potter, you see here. Um, a lot of cool stuff they have here, too. You can see there, you guys, too. Cool astronaut thing here. Uh, if you guys are wondering, that's the background of the train right there being moved on. So, pretty cool, you know. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty cool they got that little train here, guys, and all. So, always cool to see here. Here's some of the other cool sets they have here, too, and all. They have old, the new birds and all the flowers, and all, of course. Um, a lot of cool stuff you can see here too. They also have these old Technic cars, which I really don't know if I'm gonna go do Technic sets anytime soon, but who knows? Um, here's some other cool Ninjago sets they have here too, the new ones. And here's some of the older ones they have here too that you see. There's a Ninjago movie set, which is kind of scarce now. You don't see very often, but uh, pretty cool. The old Death Star set, which I don't know if I'm ever gonna afford this, guys. It's uh, really kind of cool looking how they have the price on it though. Let me see if I tell you the price on there. That's how much that thing is right here if you can see it though. But Definitely a really cool looking old set that I really like, as well as Django Slave 1, which is really cool. You know, a lot of cool old sets they have here, both new and old. This TIE Fighter 1, of course, which back in the day I actually wanted this. You know, um, pretty cool to have and all, so. And they also have some old helmet stuff too, don't see, you see here. Uh, they're new and old, basically, in a way here. And um, here's like the new helicarrier, the old helicarrier. This I know is going for a lot of money now in the after set market. You can see there's the price too, guys, here. Pretty cool looking though, but very cool. The friend set, the Black Panther bust, of course. Um, just very cool looking old sets. You can see one of the employees is working on some minifigures. You can see her there. Pretty cool overall. And uh, there's some of the new stuff they have here too, guys. And, uh, you know, very cool looking stuff that you can see over here they have. So I do like this a lot. And um, this is something I think is also pretty cool they made here. This little thing right here, this is pretty cool. They're little brushes, of course. I might have to get one of these from my dust my stuff of guys, but you know, pretty cool. Um, and there's another slave, Django Slave, slave One set in the, in the case, of course. And uh, very cool. There's a new, there's the, the Mandalorian Forge person. These are custom, but these are pretty cool. I think those are pretty cool looking Star Wars figs. Not official Lego, but you know, you know, I think that makes the figures look more really cool in a way and the reminiscent and, uh, yeah so and there's like a dragon shield I wish I could buy one of those but that's I know that's not for sale but that's a pretty cool display they have in there but yeah pretty cool guys all right guys so I'm in my vehicle and I just got through doing a little tour of this little uh, bricks mini fix store for you guys I'm sorry my glasses are falling down me uh, but yeah I just got the owner's permission from the, to do that store and all Give a lot of credit to them, of course. I always give a lot of sets that I always get, that I get from them. Uh, a lot of them have credit that when I buy stuff from there. They are a great place to shop. Uh, they are in Huntsville, Alabama, if you have guys never been to this Bricks Mayfix store. I definitely recommend them 100% if they're the closest thing to a Lego store around here in the Huntsville area. Uh, one thing I will say, though, is if you guys are a huge Lego fan, this is definitely a must. Uh, this is my closest home away from home Lego store, I guess you call it. I can't work here because reason why um, I live too far away from this place. I tried applying here one time, but still, they are a great place. I think that if you guys want to shop for for new and old used Lego sets, I do recommend them. Of course, uh, this is a video I want to put out for you guys. Of course, I know many of you probably were kind of shocked about this, but um, I do want to say to Bricks and Minifigs if they are watching this video, also 
thank you for what you guys do for basically selling a sets I can afford and also some that I can't afford. But it's always good to see what they get in stock, of course, and that's pretty cool to say the least. Um, like I said, if you guys get a chance, check them out, please. They are always welcome to get more business. They sometimes do stuff for the holidays, like maybe, I think tomorrow will be Chinese near the time of this video. They may be something for Valentine's Day, but they are definitely a Lego store. And if I could work, if I lived around this area in the North Memorial Parkway area, I would definitely come here to work almost every day here, of course. Um, they're a little bit longer drive, but still pretty cool overall. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. And uh, if you guys want, I'll be doing a little short video of what I got. Uh, for those of you who know, too, I also got some cool stuff in here, too. You guys can see here's my little special little brick you're going to see here that's a 100 story anniversary. It's in, in the inner course in a way. And I got that uh, Thanos figure. You can see if you can see, guys can see that. I'll be doing a short video on some of those when I can for you guys as well. And I uh, hope you guys are having a good one. Like I said, I always work a lot, but I like to try to put out these videos, of course. This is something I wanted to try to do for you guys, of course. And I will try to do conventions, of course, if I can one day. Uh, not like a long video like this, but I might try to do it for you guys when I have time. So just letting you guys know what's going on. And I uh, hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys hopefully next time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Bricks and Minifigs. Let me know in the comments, did you like the tour video? And would you want to see me do old or new style sets that they have or I can afford? Let me know in the comments, please. And I will gladly do a view on any sets they have, of course. And um, who knows, if I do a review in the store one day with a set from they have, I might have to ask them permission to. But like I said, um, I always want to ask for their permission first as a proper customer because I don't get copyrighted or flagged, of course, for putting out a video and, you know, making sure with them because that's always what I want to do because they are a great place, I know, and I uh, hope you guys are okay with that. All right, guys, but thank you for watching today. I will see you guys next time, and I hope you guys are enjoying these little videos. We're going to do some more stuff reviews-wise coming out in March, of course, in a way, too, and all some random little mini things I always go for every once in a while or what I can afford, and um, we'll be looking for those guys coming out stuff in March, of course, too. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Spider-Man review as well, too. But I'll do some more videos coming out soon. But as always, guys, thank you today for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.